Hello everybody, and my name is Kika Etika, and welcome back to Tomb Raider. So this is the winner of the Viewer's Choice Friday. Uh, there was only one vote, and it was for this. So uh, this is your um, Viewer's Choice. And uh, this is the walkthrough. Um, and it's, well, it's, it's a secret, all secrets walkthrough. This level is level 12, the Sanctuary of the Skion. And we're going to want to get the Magnums out because there are two Atlantean, uh, mummy things at the top here, which we need to get rid of, of course. Now, there is only one secret in this level, and it's a bit of an odd one, actually. Uh, you also get new weapons from this secret, which you can actually get in the next level too. Uh, however, they're obviously available here, so we're going to get them. And um, it's... Uh, I'm trying to think... The, 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 the secret... The, it's, it's basically the uses, but it's quite funny how you actually get them. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this level. This level's not too bad. Um, it's fairly long. I'd say about 25 minutes, give or take, you know, if you're getting all items and that kind of thing. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get up here. And then we're going to sort of bash into there, walk forward a little bit. Because she sometimes can sort of like bump into that wall. And what you want to do first of all is slide down this side. There is another mummy. But be careful how you slide down. Because sometimes she can overdo it. And you can take a little bit of damage. But we're okay there. So there's some ammo here. Whoops. There we go. So we'll pick that up. And you should hear him any second now. There he is. Oh. I hate those things. He's going to jump. Oh, he's firing things. That's nice of him. Well, he's dead. And music from the awesome Nathan McCree should kick in now. Yep. And uh, sort of gives you the sense of mystery and awe as we are by the Sphinx again. So it's pretty cool how these levels sort of go back and forth between one another. So you recognize some things like, oh, yeah, I've been there. So what we want to do is uh, head over here. And just take a, a step back and then climb up this way. Do, 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 up here. And then we go across over to here. Uh, I don't think you can single jump that, but you don't need to grab on, so just take a running jump and she'll sort of hop on there. And pretty much the same with this one. Whoopsie daisy. We go over here. And just line it up, and there we go. A little bit risky, but uh, it, it's it's doable. Climb up here. Now, uh, there's a safe crystal just ahead there. There is also a med pack over there. Now, if you go around that corner, there is actually one of those traps. You can just about see it there. But you don't actually have to go through that. So you can just jump over here and avoid it, and it will trigger it on this side as well. So we'll just pick up this one and ignore that. We don't need the um we don't need the uh, save crystal <laughs> she says so be careful of this gap here because there is a <laughs> it is a little bit hidden um now that'll open one door there's two doors we open but there's actually going to be a winged uh a winged um atlantean thing i'm not sure what they're actually called but he's going to make his way over here so get your guns out ready and any minute, any minute, there we go. So you want to try and step back and corner yourself a little bit because they can oh, not only make a noise, but they can also push you off the edge. Um, now, is this a single? I think I'm going to, no, wait, I think, it's a, I think it's a single jump, I think, I hope. Uh, oh, yes, there we go, right onto it, perfect. That actually looked pretty decent. And then you go to the edge here, a little bit further, and step back. And you want to be as close to the wall for this part because you can slide off and take some damage, which you don't want to do. What we want to do now is go over to this side, so we need to climb up all the way there. Uh, this is for another lever as well, um, or switch, whatever you want to call it or leather as my uh, American friends would say and you can go up here okay 
So you get a couple of options when you get to this point. You can go left, but we're not going to go there just yet because that is the way I didn't think. I think you can actually just climb on that without grabbing, but hey. We're going to go over here. So as I say, you can, you can go that way to the left. Um, however, we don't need to do that just yet because that is through one of the doors that we need to go through. And the other door is down below. Um, so the objective is to, uh, you need to pick up two anks um, to get over, to get through the door. I think that, alright, okay. It was a good job I grabbed then. Um, so you just have to be a little bit careful around here because it is quite a uh, big drop. So you can just grab on here like that. And there's a shimmy bit here. So we're going to go up here and do everyone's favourite thing, which is shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Ah, yeah. That was a kind of a Spice Girls reference. Um, so I go all the way across. And it looks like you can't get through that bit, but actually you can. And across. And across. And boop. And then we go on to here. And then to the left. Up this little bit and just be careful because there's a few gaps and slopes and things so we just want to jump there and I don't particularly want to fall because that'll be a waste of everyone's time I think there's a slope there I think I might be able to get away with that oh that was close okay I wouldn't recommend doing that you can double jump it so we're going to single jump that, and then single jump, and then forward, and then just step forward a little bit because I'm a little bit paranoid. Boom! There we go. I am tempted to use that crystal, but I'm not going to. And that opens that door down there. So we'll do that last, I believe. Um, right, so it's a little bit of an awkward side jump there, but you can just quite easily make it. Now we get this, uh... oh yeah, I forgot about you. So we're going to try and get rid of you and hope he doesn't knock us off this edge. Um, okay, dude. Dude. Oh, there he is. Right. So I'm just going to go close to that one. Hope he dies. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, they do pop up quite often, the flying ones. I think there's like about four just in this section alone. I'm going to double jump this one. Uh, yep, there we go. We're actually working our way to where you get the oozies. Now, I don't know if you, you can't really see from this angle, but near the Sphinx's head, you should be able to see the, uh, the oozies. They're kind of floating in the air. And that's because it's like an invisible block for some reason. Um, not sure if they did that on purpose or what, or if it's just not meant to be. Uh, I think we'll do that. Oi. I, that always, always creeps me out. So, uh, I don't think there's anything there. No, okay. So here it is. As you can see right there, the invisible block. Now, I think it is a double jump. So I'm going to do, I'm going to go for it. There we go. And there they are. The floating, floating oozes. But we got them. Now you are going to be attacked again. And this is the only secret in the level. But there should be a flying demon um, Atlantean should turn up. Maybe not. Oh, there, oh, there's two. Okay. So there's two. I'm probably risking it standing here. Let's just hope that he doesn't try and get me. There we go. Beautiful. Right, so this is kind of scary. Um, obviously hold on to the walk button. Go to the edge. You can tap back. And then you just got to hope oh, whoo, that you get it. Now, what we want to do is head over to the, that door that's over there. So, let me just double check. I th think might be able to just slide down here. 
I'm going to grab onto that edge. That's all right. There we go. That'll do me. That'll do me. We go over. And then up this block. Or just, just jump like that. That's kind of, kind of weird. And then up here. And then just jump over. And down. And then up here. And then up here. Do, 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 do. So, uh, I hope everyone is doing well and you're enjoying this series. We are coming up to the end oops, of the series. Um, I say there's about f is there 15 levels. This is the last one in Egypt. Um, I'm actually going to use that save crystal. I haven't saved during this walkthrough in a long time, like during the levels. Okay, so there we go, we saved. I uh, don't think there's any items, but what we want to do is go over here and we want to push this block uh, forward from this side. As we're actually going to use it to climb up uh, when we get round to the other side. And I think there is some cent uh, either centaurs or it's just like one of those weird ones, just like the, the walking ones, uh, the kind of gorilla looking type, I don't know. But you'll hear him. Uh, I could be... No, no, no. There he is. It's a centaur. And he's going to throw stuff at me. Explosive balls, which we obviously don't want to get hit by, if possible. And that was a close shot. Oh my goodness, he's got good aim. Is he going to die? Any... There we go. Oof. Noises, though. Right. So this is the first thing we pick up, is the ank. Um, oh, Ankh. I think it's, I think it's Ankh. Like, Ankh. Ankh. Alright, there's no other item, so. That's groovy. We can pick this up, or not. And then when we get back into the main room, I think there's another Atlantean, uh, dude, mummy thing. Right. So I'm just gonna drop down here. And then drop. Roll. Boop. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, I'm just going to walk because you don't obviously don't want to fall if you can help it, I wonder. Uh, it's just remembering which side. Ah, maybe that side actually. We're going to go over here. Whoops. Not um, hit my head. And I'm just going to, I'm going to step back and do it, do it that way. Okay. Because we want to go down anywho. Uh... Oh, hello, sir. Ah, oh, that's right, there's a med kit. I knew there was a reason why I was coming this way. Um, and the, the Atlantis? Where is he? Oh, he's right there. So we'll just stay up here and get him. Uh, there's a f still a few things I've forgotten. Um, you know, how it's done and stuff. But we will eventually be putting the Anks um, in the Sphinx's head, which then opens up the, the, the stuff. And I think, yeah, there's the door. So we're back here. Um, we'll just go on this side so we can fall nicely. I'm just going to get my guns out again just in case. I think we're good. And we go through here. So this is kind of a... It's not really a puzzle uh, puzzle part, but um, there's water there. And you want what you want to do, that's how you get up is you actually go backwards. So you fall and slide backwards because you need to grab the edge. So we'll do that. And there we go. And then you shimmy across. There's nothing in the water here. But in the next room there is some ammo. So we'll gladly pick that up. Uh, in the next room there's a key. Which goes in a door. Uh, no, it opens a door, if I remember rightly. Um, like over a bridge kind of thing, and then you get another rank, and yeah. So, we want to um, do a question. Do we want to go? Oh, I think we do. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I'm going here first. We'll go down here. I could have swan dyed it. I could have looked, looked beautiful and skilled, but I'm not going to, because I'm not beautiful and skilled. Well, I might be... No, I'm neither of those things. Right, so back up here. And then... 
<laughs> oh no, I didn't think I could make that. She she's always like a little bit too forward to make a second sort of skilled looking glitch jump. I I don't know. Um. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, one thing I will say, actually, uh, what I will mention. Ah, right. So this, ch <laughs> this you have to slide down and grab the the bridge um, at the last minute. I think that's too early. Oh no! Perfect. First time. I thought I jumped too soon. Then. Oh no! Hang on. He's in the. He's in here. So once I go in here, put the gold key in. And there's another centurion. Wait, I think Ash BFC called him a Centurion. I don't know what their actual names are. We'll just call it a Centaur. But either way, there's another one. So I'm actually going to go in here. Oh, and not get hit. Oh, he's got like a harp thing. Oh, there's a wall. Out, forward, 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 forward. Run. There we go. We got, we got, we got him running. We're on, we're on, on it, on it, on it. <sighs> Ooh, he did not like that. Ow. That is some loud stuff. Alright. I'll pick that up in a second, the uh, med kit. There's also a save crystal here. And... Boop. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I could boop it. So this is, a, as I say, this is a fairly long level. Um... Yeah, 25 minutes, so the levels kind of get a little bit longer uh, as you go on. I think I can just swan dive into the water now. So I actually look a bit skilled here. And then... Uh, there we go. I was trying to find the exit. There's a somewhat of a boss at the end of this. Um, it's actually Larson. And he... Um, He's the, he's the guy at the beginning, the intro in the beginning, um, who recruits you, so to speak, and introduces you, la, 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 introduces you to Natla. Uh, oh. oh, no, 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 it's fine, that's fine, I think. Uh, yeah, and then we go over here. Ah, oh, I, I was hoping I could do like a corner jump, but oh well. So it's just, you know, just going back and forth is a bit annoying, but I probably didn't have to go that way thinking about it, actually. Oh, well. Either way. And then we'll go over here and then to the right. Or could I? Not sure. I'm not sure if there's another Atlantean uh, mummy dude. I don't think so, but always get your guns out to be prepared. Do have the Uzis now, which is nice. Although I never really use many of the um, other weapons. So what we want to do now is head up to the uh, head of the Sphinx. And we're going to open that door. Uh, it's a nice nice camera view there. And what we want to do is go around this leg. I'm going to keep it at that angle because that's pretty cool. Um, panoramic or whatever. I, I don't know. Pan hang on, isn't panoramic the uh, when it goes all like round? Not sure. We've got this sort of raised bit of sand here. That's how we get up. And then we just got to make our way up. Um, up the Sphinx. So again, it's pretty high. Um, is it up this, this one first? It's a little bit dark, this, this section. And then up here, you kind of... There we go. Gotta be a little bit, little, little, little bit careful. And then we end up back in this section which you remember. Um, I'm going to have to jump onto that itself. There we go. And you want to do that, so we'll step back and then run and jump. There we go. And then up here. And here we are. So, this is the first uh, point where you put the ank, or one of the anks. And then it's around the other side. So it'll show you the door. It's like, oh, it's not opened yet. That's fine. Just walk around here because obviously it's... Uh, I just want to go over here and step back a little bit. Ooh. Oh, yes, look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous view? Now, where's Nathan McCree's music? Right, now it's remembering the safest way to get down. Okay, 
So first of all, I actually am going, I'm being a little bit more cautious. I don't trust myself. All right, so uh, I thought I'd best save because uh, you can easily fluff this up. Um, see, yeah, don't go on that side. So I'm going to go up here. And then I want to say, oh, this is so scurry. I think, I think I'm just going to go, I think you can just slide down one of the sides, like his head or something. But I really don't want to risk it, so I'm going to uh, not do that. Right, I'm going to go down, oops, go down here. And then I'm just going to go down this way again, just because. As I say, I would rather not risk it, to be honest with you. Um, and, you know, so far I've taken no damage. I think there is an easier way of doing it, where you can end up actually back on the... Uh, on the Sphinx, which I don't want to be on. I don't know why I'm climbing up here. I don't think there's anything. No. Oh well. So it just goes to show that this is not, I mean I've always said from day one that this is not a professional, whoopsie. You can dive, but whoops. This is not a professional uh, walkthrough um, and never said it would be. Uh, it's just, a, you know, just a casual like all secrets guide really. That's all there is. So, oops, we'll just swim over the ship. Mm, Lara. Go yep. forward. There we go. And then we go over here. And there's some oozy clips. Ugh. Swimming in this is just so fun. And then, hopefully, we should have enough breath. Go down here. And then. We want to go down here and there's a lever just over here. And so we want to pull that. And I think that brings the water down closer anyway so I don't have as far to swim. Oh no, that's right, we get sucked into sucked into it like that. Whew. No, Lara, what are you doing, love? What are you doing, love? Up here, there we go. Right, so this bit. You, first of all, want to climb up this one. And not face the wrong way. And then we want to make an awkward jump over there. Oh no, wait, no, no, up here first. That would make sense. Silly Amy, silly, silly Amy. Um, that's right, that's the first awkward jump. And then this one isn't so bad. It's been a while, it's been a while folks, but we're getting there, we're getting there. That's a double jump. And then just slightly turn if you can. Just to straighten her up a little bit. Okay. Now I want to say there's more stuff to shoot. I want to say there is. Yep, there's a wing, winged fellow, or wingly. I'm going to go down here and hope that he doesn't push me off. So, oh. Ouchie, wah, wah And I'm going to do that. Whew. I am also going to do this because you can mess this up. As I say, I'm being extremely cautious. There we are. Alrighty then. So, uh, it's remembering. We want to go down here. Ugh, all this remembering. It's so. Oi, oi, oi. I don't think there's any items there. We want to go over there. So, I'm going to do that. And yeah, I'll just grab that just because just it's easier. I think is there health there? I swear I just saw something. Hmm. Interesting. Uh is it down this way? 
I could. I'm wondering if I can just. Yeah, no, it is down here. I'm going to go along here because I think that's slightly raised higher, this bit. Oh, no, just around here. So, otherwise, I'll take a bit of damage. Ah, oh, I still take damage anyway. It was a nice thought. It was a nice thought. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm just being so cautious. So, so cautious. Um, yep. We'll just slide down there. There we go. And here's a lever. Right. Which then opens the door on the other side, underneath the water. That's right. It's, it's it's just trying to remember everything. It's not easy, you know. It's not easy. Now, I don't think... Uh, is there any items? I don't think there is, but... We can't check anyway. Cool. That's where I picked up the thing. So, I'm just going to go ahead and go down here. And it's the same principle, pretty much. Um go up here and do all the thing, go up. I've got an itchy nose. There we go. <laughs> and ah, uh, it's just so, it, it is such a relaxing game though. I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's a relaxing game. And it can be quite scary. Like, you know, some of the enemies make you jump. Yep, I'll take those. Thank you very much. I think there's some enemies. I think. So we're going up, and up, and up, and up, and up. Huh? Yay! This is fun. I don't think it's... I can't think if there's any more items or anything. Oh no! Yeah, there's some more ammo. We'll take that. A nice front sh frontal view. Don't get those very often. Oh my goodness, does this ever end? Really? I don't remember it being this long. That's what she said. Ah, right, here we go. So, this leads you back to the beginning, which we're right at the end now, but there's also going to be three Atlanteans um, right here. So, we're going to just, just pansy it and uh, back up and hope we can see them, to shoot them. Oh, that's, that's a horrible noise. Okay, so I'm going to back up here and get rid of one. It's one down. We need... There we go. Here's another one. Ooh, you sneaky sausage. Go on, get lost. Alright, and then there's the centaur one. You can hear him just sort of pottering about. And here he is. So we're just going to run and jump around so he doesn't aim for you, or rather hit you. And we're right near the end of the level. It's just to the left there. Once we've got rid of this dude. There we go. Beautiful. And then we want to put the scarab right in here that we just picked up. Nearly there. We just got the uh, fight with Larson. So I'm just going to pick up this health first. And that's coming up right now. Um, so we'll just do 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 do. And then uh, where's the gap? Oh, missed it. All right, here it is. You climb up here. Not across, and then he should start talking, and he'll make an appearance. I still got a pain in my brain from you, and it's telling me funny ideas now. I like to shoot there he is. The shoot you to hell. It's a pain in my brain. Well, he dies pretty quickly, so yeah, my magnums win. I don't think he drops anything. Won't mind his guns though. Hi. Yeah, that's what you get for messing with Ms. Croft. Okie dokie, so we want the, um, the Skion, which, do I know where it is? It's a bloody good question. There it is! Uh, up here. And then we grab it, and it's the last piece. Boom! Not 23 minutes, not too bad, not too bad. So, this has been Tomb Raider 1 for the PlayStation 1. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by leaving a like. And if you want to see more content like this, plus plenty of other stuff, then you can always hit that subscribe button today to get notified when a new video is released. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you awesome chums in the next video. Bye! Pull the duff
friend of a wishbone. Howdy. Afternoon. Left Larson sucking wind then, eh? If that is the phrase. Well, your little vacation riot's over now. Time to give back what you've hijacked off me. Let's try the lunchbox. <laughs> Well, kill her! Hey. You morons! Let's go. back inside. You coming? Steady. Here she goes. We ready yet? Before you go, here is your chance to be in control of what you want to see next Friday. You can vote on a video by clicking on the annotation or if you're on a handheld device then you can also vote in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you awesome chums in the next video. Bye!